Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today is a crazy day in the world of Forza Horizon 5 because today we got one of the biggest info drops basically since this game has been announced. In today's video, there is so much stuff to talk about. Let me read off my list so I don't miss anything. We've got the Forza Horizon 5 paint booth, the garage, brand new FH5 customization, the Horizon Arcade, Horizon Open, and the Horizon Tour. We've also got the Forza Horizon 5 Eliminator to showcase, as well as gift drops. You might not know what those are just yet, sit back and relax. This is going to be a crazy video. However, real quick before we do get into that, I have some really exciting news to share because next month we're actually going to be doing a giveaway here on the YouTube channel for one of these, my brand new Mercedes AMG office chair built by Noble Chair. To celebrate the cover car of Forza Horizon 5, the Mercedes AMG Project 1, myself and Noble Chairs have teamed up to give away Away one of these to one of you guys. All you're gonna have to do to win a chair exactly like this one is make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube and leave a comment down below. Thanks so much to Noble Chairs for sending me out the Mercedes AMG office chair. Let's jump into Forza Horizon 5. Let's jump straight into the brand new Forza Horizon 5 garage. So this is actually one of the new festival locations in the game. You'll kind of get a sense as to what this festival looks like and how the new menus work. As cool as the new garage is though, what's cooler than those is the brand new Forza Horizon 5 customization. And let's start things up with this Jeep Gladiator. For the first time ever in a Forza game, you can actually swap the door on your vehicles. These are actually custom-built ADD off-road doors. Side note though, for those of you who don't know, my real-life Ford Raptor actually has ADD off-road bumpers front and rear. Now obviously we don't know if those are going to be included in Forza Horizon 5 right now, but we will cross fingers because ADD makes some really cool stuff for pretty much all sorts of off-road vehicles out there. Whether it be chase racks and bumpers or custom doors that they even have for the brand new Ford Bronco. I am definitely gonna cross fingers and hope that we have those in FH5. On the completely opposite end of the spectrum though, we'll jump into this, the 911 GT2 RS that has this awesome Duke Dynamics wide body kit. Another new thing for Forza Horizon 5, if you look down into the bottom left is this new off-road stat that basically just tells you how good your car is gonna be off-road. With Forza Horizon 5 customization, you can obviously add on things like off-road suspension to raise your vehicle up, or even these new off-road race tires to your vehicle to give you more grip and increase that level so you have an easier time when you're driving off-road. And yes, eagle-eye viewers might have noticed this, drift tires are confirmed for Forza Horizon 5. Yes, they do basically ruin all of the stats of your vehicle if you plan to actually drive it anywhere, not in a cloud of smoke, but they are there, which is super cool. Also crossing fingers that they actually add some more tire smoke while you're driving around. That would be really, really cool. And the final thing before we actually head out into the open world is this, the brand new paint booth for Forza Horizon 5 which is actually very similar to how it was in the past, but it has this brand new UI that's gonna make painting a thousand times easier. Not to mention the paints that you actually make are gonna be way, way higher quality. If you painted in Forza Horizon 4, for example, and you drove your car into the open world, your paint would be kind of pixelated. Well, they fix that and up the resolution for your paints in FH5 so they can look super, super crisp which is awesome. Anyways though, let's also talk about the Horizon Arcade, the Horizon Open, and the Horizon Tour, which are all sort of new features for Forza Horizon 5. Let's start things off with the Horizon Arcade, which are very similar to the Forzathon live events from Forza Horizon 4. However, a bunch of upgrades have gone into these. No longer are you gonna be ripping it through speed traps or off the ends of danger signs. These are proper dedicated mini games in F. FH5. For example, this is Bullseye and the game will spawn in all of these massive ramps. You need to rip it off the end as fast as you can 
to hit the center of the bullseye to get the maximum amount of points. Another example is this with pinatas where you have to go and smash into the pinatas to get a certain score. However, you'll need to watch out for the negative pinatas which will actually prevent you from hitting any further ones. It's pretty cool the way it all works. And finally, there's this one, which is sorta kinda like Simon Says. At the bottom of the screen, you'll notice that there's kinda like a, like a challenge that you have to do in the game. Whether that be a simple thing like drive two miles, smash into a fence, get a wreckage score, or so on. It's kinda like a Simon Says, the quicker you do it, the more score you get. And what's awesome about the Horizon Arcade, once you complete these, once you get enough score, you'll actually get Forzathon points, which you can go and spend in the Forzathon shop, which will grant you access to special cards. Moving away from the Horizon Arcade though, let's now talk about the Horizon Tour, which is another really cool game mode actually. It has you and five of your friends, so six players, versus 6AI in a Horizon Tour. It's sort of kind of like a casual co-op drive with your friends and race against the AI thing, where you'll start at one location in a certain type of car, drive over to a race, do that race against the AI, and then drive with all of your friends to another location and do another race. Really cool idea, cool concept, a nice sort of chill game mode. And last but not least, the Horizon Open, which is sort of kind of going to be your hub for playing online. This is where you can go and do racing, drifting, playground games, or the Eliminator. One sort of not great thing about the Horizon Open is by the sounds of it, there's no actual ranked adventure in Forza Horizon 5. So if you like to go into the game and earn your way up through the ranks, that is not gonna be a thing anymore, at least in terms of a dedicated ranked mode. I don't know if there's gonna be anything similar for the Horizon Open, but we'll have to see. Anyways though, as we're talking about the Horizon Open, why don't we jump into the Eliminator and showcase some Forza Horizon 5 Eliminator gameplay. There are actually a couple of changes for the Eliminator, as you'll probably notice throughout some of this gameplay. And right off the bat, yes, you actually start in a Volkswagen Beetle, which is so cool. Say goodbye to the British Mini and hello to the Mexican Beetle, you love to see it. Something you might actually notice while you're watching this gameplay is the developers were very, very sneaky and they actually blurred out a bunch of the car drop names so we don't know what's actually in there. Very sneaky. Anyway, see if you can spot any cars in this gameplay yourself that haven't officially been announced just yet. And if you do, let me know in the comments down below. One of my personal favorite areas for Forza Horizon 5 was actually shown off a lot in the Eliminator gameplay, and that is Guanajuato, which is unbelievably beautiful and even better looking, arguably, at night. I don't know if it's just me, but the lighting, as it bounces off like the texture of the paint on all of the buildings and bounces off the old streets looks incredible. Not to mention all of the tunnels beneath Guanajuato are just so, so cool. Unfortunately, none of those tunnels actually look as tight or as narrow as they might be in real life, which is a little bit disappointing. I would have loved to have seen some really, really sketchy looking tunnels like there are in real life, but regardless, it's cool that we have these. Another pretty cool area was very briefly shown off. That's this kind of abandoned airport slash drag strip hidden somewhere in the jungle. Very, very cool. I can't wait to see more of it. Anyways, though, I think that's enough of the Eliminator but not enough of very cool areas because we also have this, the Baja Circuit, which was finally showed off and is so cool what you can do here. I don't know if it's just me as well, but this is a way, way bigger area than I thought it actually was when I first saw it on the map. There are tons of possibilities to build custom racetracks here. It's filled up with a bunch of jumps, banked corners, flat corners. There's even an off-road like NASCAR circuit, which should be really, really cool to go and race around. I cannot wait for that. The last thing I wanted to talk about today though was gift drops, which I haven't actually spoken about in a couple of months. I'm super happy we finally have some more information today. So let me set the scene for you. You are a new player to Forza Horizon 5, and I've got this vast garage of cars. Say I go and build a car, say this Porsche 911 GT2 RS, and I don't want it, and I want to gift it to some of you guys. So, no, I can't just gift a car from me to you. How it works is I'll go and select my car, and select a group of players 
who I want to give it to, whether it be new players to the game, people in the Hall of Fame, people who come back all the time, things like that. Once I do that, the car will get removed from my garage and then that gift drop will get hidden somewhere in your map. Unfortunately, we don't know how it works any further than that. If it's like a race to that new car or if it's just like for multiple people, we don't actually know just yet. Anyways though, that is it for Forza Horizon 5 today. I hope you guys enjoyed. There was a ton of information. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe here here on YouTube to stay up to date with everything Forza Horizon 5 related and for a chance to win your very own Mercedes AMG chair. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!